We have a couple at the core who live in the 1950s during the Lavender Scare, where our federal government was persecuting homosexuals working within it. And they have a marriage of convenience to each other. And a person comes in that threatens that arrangement. And each one of them has to decide what are they willing to sacrifice to create a more just America and everyone decides something different. It's a tribute to um, some pioneers in fighting for I guess, gay rights. Um, people who were fired from government jobs, had nothing to lose, and went out and started protesting and, and fighting for their rights. In that respect, it's also a bit of a protest piece today. Um, it can be an inspiration for others to be fighting for their rights today. Fear of the other is a huge political motivator at the time, like in this moment. Um, and it was in the 50s, and it's something that I think we can all work together and do better as a nation. Aside from having the mental and logical um, connection to the time period, there is an emotional through line. I think that's why I go to see art or movies or TVs. I want to feel something. I don't want to just, you know, read a textbook. I want to, you know, understand why and how that's relevant now in a personal way. Perfect Arrangement is really great because this adaptation of this play has so much style. Everyone's so funny and we work really well together. The way this play uses comedy to talk about important things, relevant things that are relevant now in terms of people being discriminated against, um, structural inequality, economic inequality, does it in a way that's not overt and beating you over the head with it. It's using the characters to explore those themes. It is, uh, it is a fun show, but it's also going to make you think. And uh, this is a good thinking theater community, and I think people like to be entertained and leave with new thoughts, leave with things to ponder. Uh, we want them to take the show home with them. We don't want them to just sit down for two hours traffic and then never think about it again. I think that right now in our society, we are grappling with these huge injustices, and we're struggling to figure out what do we do, and how do we stop it, and how do we prevent it. And at its core, this piece, shows characters who are struggling with that same exact question. And it gives an avenue for the community to come together and work together to figure out what to do and how do we support each other and protect each other. And my hope is that for two hours when the audience sees this, there's a moment where we feel united and we feel together and we leave a lasting impression that goes beyond just the show that they see.